Come on, Camaro, come on. Don't do this to me. Don't you dare do this to me. Stay with me. Nurse, prepare the booster cables. Stay with me. Clear, everybody, clear, clear. Ah! Stay with me, Kerr! She's gone. This never gets easy. I could perform open car surgery on this vehicle, but without the front bumper, with the rear bumper gone, and the quarter panel the way it is, she'll never be roadworthy again. Nurse, I'm gonna call it. This 2017 Camaro SS is dead. Dead. Never has a car lived so fast or died so young. However, I will not allow the people responsible for this death to go unmentioned. You see, at the end of this episode, I will be handing out our unwanted trophy to one of these three motorists. And I will be naming one of them. Something that I've named someone every year for the past 13 seasons. I will be naming one of them. Canada's worst driver. The three finalists for Canada's worst driver are... Melanie. A single mother of four from Oromocto, New Brunswick, who never drives her children anywhere. If I don't improve, my kids won't get to, like, enjoy, like, a full life that they possibly could. And I've, I've got to change for them. Next is Ashley from the Goulds, Newfoundland. <laughs> I'm an ugly crier. <laughs> Ashley wanted to be on our show so that she could become skilled enough to not cry while driving. But in every single episode this year, Ashley wept behind the wheel. <laughs> and finally, there's Adam. He lives with his parents in Kitchener, and he's afraid of driving and socializing. I don't like this. I'm nervous. I'm not somewhere where I'm comfortable and very uncomfortable right now. The opening challenge in our final episode is a forwards and then backwards slalom, which must be accomplished in less than 45 seconds in our 1972 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Can I do it in less than 45 seconds? Sure I can. But I've been at the rehab center for a long time. Can Canada's worst drivers do it in 45 seconds? That's the question. Ooh, she's got some swing, this car. Ooh, I got a little bit too far on one of them. Here's where the time is won and lost. It's in that turnaround. My reversing, look at that, I'm kind of pulsing on the gas. There's no need to do that. Smoother is better. Lovely, I'm good on the reverse home. Now, I come as fast as I can at the arch, but then I slow down just in time to make sure that I slide through. I finish with one second to spare. Adam volunteers to go first. You ready, ladies? Oh, it's on right now, folks. It is on. Drivers will get 10 attempts at this challenge, and on his first try, Adam looks like he's learned nothing in rehab. Ooh. Ah! How can he hit things going forward? Varun, off he goes. Come on, buddy. That's Pat, Adam's dad. Come on, Adam. Come on. Adam isn't reversing the way we taught him to. Ah. We taught him to look backwards out the rear window and around the objects. That's Tim Danter. He's watching every move the bad drivers make alongside Shamala Kiru, Cam Woolley, and Philippe Letourneau. But he also knows how to reverse with his mirror, so he's got no excuses. At the end of this episode, 
These four experts will help me decide who is Canada's worst driver. So you're at a minute 10. After a slow third run, Adam hangs a good luck charm. It's a roll of the dice as to whether or not he's gonna pass. See what I did there? Total wordsmith. Run number four is too slow, but he's on time for run number five. Ah, you hit the arch. That's not all Adam hits. No! Come on. Runs number seven, eight, and nine are all too slow. He's grazing that again, too. And on his final attempt. Hold on to your britches, girls, because here we go. Adam hits the arch on his takeoff. And again on the return. Adam might be Canada's worst driver. I knew he was going to shot himself in the foot. On Ashley's first attempt, she grabs at the wheel on every turn. A clumsy steering style called. And over and. Oh. Oh my God. When you're going forward, I noticed you were doing hand over hand steering. Now, do you remember what they taught you to do? Nine and three. With her hands at nine and three, Ashley is able to go forward. There you go. But on the reverse, Ashley is more bobble-headed than Adam was. Don't look at me. Look where you want to go. What the f Ashley's friend, Jillian, knows that I can't stand it when drivers look every which way while reversing. Ooh, do you think I'm going to back up through an arch if I do this? Oh. Even with that advice. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Ashley's still reversing like a bobblehead doll, which leads to multiple failures. That's going to leave a mark. I looked where I wanted to go, I looked between the f***ing arch, and I'm still hitting the f***ing arch. Runs number six, seven, and eight are all too slow. Andrew, can we do something? Yeah. Can she do this by herself? How do you think that'll help? Jill thinks it will help Ashley concentrate. And it's worth a try. It's just me. Ashley's driving, though, is as bad as ever. Well, that didn't work. good time on the forward section of her final attempt. You can get this from here. You can get this. She can't, actually. Oh! Ten chances. Ten fails. Ashley might be Canada's worst driver. I'm sick of feeling like this. <laughs> Melanie! gets off to a terrible start. Whoa. Run number two is just as reckless. Did I hit it? And her next five attempts are too slow. This is so hard. I know it's not. But attempt number eight is actually on time. She's got five seconds now. That's Christina, Melanie's best friend. She's doing it. She just needs to speed it up a couple seconds. Oh, wrong way. It's okay. It's okay. Last chance to dance. Melanie's down to her final run. Okay, hold on, hold on a moment. 30 attempts, 30 fails. Stop for a minute. Stop. Melanie might be Canada's worst driver. 
I say we go to sudden death, give them bonus rounds until someone succeeds. Melanie! We'll have the first run in our bonus round. 25! Sorry. What? You're doing fine. You're doing, doing fine. She's got more than 10 seconds. This is it, this is the winner. Adam's bonus run is also looking like a winner. Go, 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 go. He, if he makes this, he's made it. Oh! oh! <laughs> I did it! Ashley is looking like she's going to complete the bonus round hat trick. She's got 15 seconds. She's in an easy position to finish. Easy. Don't hit that arch. This will be the fastest run. of Canada's worst drivers did it! I did something. Oh. <laughs> Finally did something. Oh, my God. We've never, ever had a challenge that ended with three people crying for joy. You did it. That's so awesome. When we come back, it's time for the Mega Mega Burger. Mega Challenge. <laughs> During every single season of our show, I've announced this next challenge by yelling just a little bit louder and just a little bit longer. And I want you to fear not, because this year, will be no exception. You see, there's just one more test to do here at the Rehab Center. And for this test, Canada's worst drivers will have to demonstrate a little bit and a little piece of every single lesson they've learned at our educational center. You know what time it is. It's time for the... Mega! That's longer than last year, right? I can go all day. The vehicle they'll be driving for the Mega Challenge is our Mega Destroyed Camaro, which our mechanics brought back from the dead. There's less than 300 kilometers on this car, but a lifetime's worth of damage. Slalom, which means I swish around and then I line up for the eyes of the needle. I'm slowing down, so I have to get back to 60 and around. No problem. I still duck. 13 years of Canada's worst driver. When I go through an eye of the needle, I duck. A precision steering section leads to a turnaround corral. The drivers must reverse out of. I'm out. When they're through the reverse precision steering section, it's time for the reverse 180 degree flick. Give it a little punch. One way, the other way. Zoom, baby! I love my job! It's the whoa, go <laughs> Don't screw it up now, young husband. Another two arches are next. That leads to the final icy corner. I lock up and skid, and then turn around. Turn, 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 make it. Yeah. That is the season 13 Mega Challenge! Do it! All right. Through the so-called Eye of the Slalom, Adam is Great start. Adam is great through the entire precision section. Are we ready to do some reverse stunt driving? We sure are. Adam hated driving when he arrived in rehab. Now he can do this. Ah. That's what he can do. Here's Adam's icy corner. 
Instead of 50, Adam's going 60. I was off and I oversteered. That's a bummer. For his mega challenge run, Adam grades himself a C. C? C. C's not bad. I got lots of C's in school. Lots of them. Yep. When we come back, Melanie and Ashley run the Mega Challenge. I just pop a tire. The finalists for Canada's worst driver are doing the. The frustrating thing about Melanie this sucks. is that whenever she's taught to do a maneuver, she follows up by saying she can't do that maneuver because she can't remember the steps. Are the steps for the reverse flick still in her brain? How do you do it? You don't remember. Yes, you do, and I'm not going to bail you out. I don't remember. You remember. You use this as a I know you have to turn this way and then all the way around, but I don't remember if I have to break or take it off. Do I look back or forward? Back. No. Does she remember how to do the 180 degree flick? Eye of the needle, eye of the needle, icy corner. I don't remember how to do it. How can you not remember how to do it? It was because yesterday. Because I couldn't even do it yesterday. It was yesterday. What are the steps, Mel? You know it. Has Melanie learned enough here to go through two eyes of the needle and then make an icy corner turn? Let's see. Look straight through the center. She's going just 30 through the second arch, but she's going 60 when she hits the ice. Jim Now look where you want to go. Look where you want to go. Melanie grades her mega challenge run. Uh, like a D? Yeah. Well, as the sun sets on yet another season here at the Driver Rehabilitation Center, there's only one mega challenge left, and it's Ashley. Here she goes. That's not what I was really hoping for the, uh, the last mega challenge run of the season. Oh, me f I lost a mirror! I got a bad feeling that we're looking at, you know, Canada's worst driver. The car just threw up some of the arch. Ashley is the worst on the turnaround corral. And she's the worst in the reverse precision. Well, there is your problem. Popped a friggin' tire. Yeah. Who does that? And who loses a mirror? Canada's worst driver. Yes, I am, and I'll admit it right now, because no one else did this I deserves it after this. I don't even care. I deserves it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Get it up, get it up. I'm working on it. When the mega challenge started, there was a three-way tie for Canada's worst driver. Now, I am worried that there's a front runner. Can the front runner do a reverse flick? <gasps> oh, oh! Did you, did you do it? I think you did it. How do you like yourself? You would have done that perfectly if you hadn't hit the foot brake. Here's the last thing our beloved Camaro will ever do in rehab. Look in the middle. Look where you want to go. See? There you go. When she hits the ice, Ashley's speeding. Off the brake. It's off the brake! I'm off the brake! I was not on the brake! Oh, 
you're too hard. Ashley grades her mega challenge run an M. An M. Yep. What does what does M stand for? I picked the wrong letter. When we come back. It's time for Canada's worst drivers to perform their final challenge. Don't hold up traffic. Chauffeuring me. Oh my gosh, I'm in the middle of the road. Throughout the streets of Hamilton. Please help me. I am helping you by allowing you to help yourself. <laughs> for the last 12 years, the final test for Canada's worst drivers has been a public drive with me riding shotgun. You're not in the turning lane. Not in the turning lane. For those 12 years, the vehicles we've got them for that drive have always been pretty slick. So, what did we get them this year? Well, we got them a Porsche. A Porsche 911 Carrera that can go from zero to 100 in three and a half seconds. You ever driven a Porsche before? Never, never been in one. Alrighty, we're off. We are indeed, sir. Here's the way it's gonna work. Okay. I'm gonna say exit the parking lot and turn left onto Vine Street. When the driver turns onto the street correctly, I'll tell them the next street they have to turn onto. Now you're gonna turn right onto Park Street North. If there's no trouble with the first few turns, they'll be on the highway pretty quick. Look for the signs that lead you to the merge onto the 403 West Brantford. All right. 403 West Brantford. Talk me through it. What are the steps? Yeah, I got to use this lane to get my speed up to highway speed. Correct. And then I got to change into the next lane. Do it, then. I love it. In an effort to keep everyone safe, the opening portion of this year's highway drive is only three kilometers long. So now you're on the exit ramp, yep, correct? Absolutely. The 90 minute drive involves parking lot parking, residential driving, and returning on the highway once more. Nice. And I'm pleased to tell you that Adam does it all perfectly. Until he slows down for this amber light. Ah, shoot. Then tries to make it. Headed back to the parking lot, I want to know more about Adam. Describe a perfect night for me. A perfect night? Yeah. Hanging out with friends, just having a good time, being myself. When, when was the last time you had a perfect night? Oh my god, it's been a long time. It's gotta be almost two years now. What? Yeah. Dude, you gotta grab life by I the know, nutsack know, and pull it towards yourself. You really do. What's the craziest thing you've ever done in your life? Uh, I honestly don't know. What's the craziest thing you would like to do? I want to ride a Ferris wheel, because I'm afraid of heights. What? Yeah. OK. What are you doing on Sunday? Sunday, driving back home. Drive to Niagara Falls and get on the Ferris wheel. There we go. Adam completes the final drive accident free. Dude! Yeah. Adam doesn't seem to be Canada's worst driver. We're going on a Ferris wheel in Niagara Falls on Sunday. We are? We are. And who's driving there? I'm driving. Melanie's reaction to our super fast Porsche has me scared. Oh my god, oh my god, oh okay. my god. You can take a lap of the parking lot oh if you want. Oh my god. It's a car. Oh my okay? god. Melanie. Stop, don't, don't freak out, it's a car. That's all it is, okay? If you wanna take a few laps of yeah, the parking lot, do that. do that. Sure, okay. do anything you want. Okay, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's a car, Melanie. Just don't, don't go to some dark, weird oh place. It's just a car. After two laps of the parking lot. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Melanie says she's able to do this drive. Oh god. Oh, okay. Okay. Just keep your wits about you. It's just a drive. That's all we're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and don't grip that wheel like it owes you money. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh 
Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't, don't, oh, God. oh, God, either. Just, just drive. Like I'm going to say it, Andrew. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right? Oh, my God. I would try doing some positive thinking mm -hmm. because that'll help you. If you just whine and oh, oh, God, oh, oh, God all the time, you're going to go to that dark place. And so just think about how this is going to help your family, help you. That's perfect advice that that whining and that negative attitude is not helpful for her at all in fact it's making things worse where are you going now i don't know okay i don't so know that street i see do you have bad vision well, i don't know oh my god headed for the highway oh my god 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 I don't... two things become frighteningly clear about melanie i don't know i don't know i don't know she keeps answering, I don't know, but she should almost say, don't know, don't want to know. That's the impression I get. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Melanie hasn't retained what she learned in rehab, and she's hoping that God will save her. Oh, God. Oh, God. God's going to help me through this one. Who? God. God. How much faith is in your life? A lot, actually. Melanie's goal in rehab was getting comfortable with highway driving. Right here? You're going to mer merge onto the four of No! But she doesn't seem too comfortable. Oh, my God, Andrew. This is it. Oh, God. This is the highway. Here we go. Okay. Oh, my God. When we come back, Ashley does her drive. Watch the pedestrian once Melanie completes hers. I hate driving. Mm. Canada's worst drivers are doing their final challenge. If you want to bail out of here, you do it now. I'm not bailing. There's no bailing anymore, Andrew. Driving me in and around the streets of Hamilton. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to I'm going to hit something. And oh my god, is it ever exhausting. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Melanie is about to hit the highway. All you gotta do is merge on, join the flow of traffic, and we'll get off almost immediately. Oh, are you serious? Get up to speed. Oh, Andrew. Get up to speed, please. And then merge in. Lovely. And look, we're on the highway. It's just that Then she's got the wheel in a death grip. Go 100 for me. And stay in your lane and talk to me so I know you're okay. Tell me what you see. Give me a running commentary. Please, give me a running commentary. What does that mean? Are you kidding? Are you looking far up the road or are you looking at the bumper of that car ahead? Looking at the bumper. Look far up the road. You don't want to go into his bumper. You want to look where you want to go. What do you see? <gasps> what I see <gasps> is a woman who's an average driver, <gasps> but who's dangerous due to her negativity. <gasps> and dangerous because of her desire to not be in control. Do I go? Should I get over? Do I go right now? Do I wait? Do I go? Do I stop right here? Can I get over? I am supposed to be one over. Melanie knows the answer to all the questions she's asking. Am I in a wrong way? Can I go, Andrew? Please help me. I am helping you by allowing you to help yourself. I don't know what to do, Andrew. Mm hmm Can I turn here? How do I get over? Should I just let him go? You know I'm not answering these redundant questions. For this entire drive, Melanie has been culturing negativity. Fun, fun, fun. Say fun. Just fun. Second. Say fun. 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 Say fun. that over and over fun. again. Fun, fun, fun. See how the word even makes you smile? Fun. Say it again. Fun, fun. When you get fun. upset, say that. Fun. That's better. Fun. <laughs> mm hmm. Melanie's toxic language is poisoning her desire to drive. 
No, 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 stop that. Sorry. Yay, driving. Yay, driving. Yay. You will convince yourself of what you say. Headed back to the starting point, Melanie stops in a crosswalk, which you can't do, and she stops while occupying two lanes, which you can't do. You can't stop at a green light either, or go through a ramp. I can't see the stupid. Oh my! Having completed her drive, only one question remains for Melanie. Are you Canada's worst driver? No, I don't think so. I think Melanie has Canada's worst driving attitude. You've convinced yourself you hate it, and I don't think you do. I think you love it. Ashley is nervous. Say yay. Yay. I get to drive a Porsche. Get to drive a Porsche in Hamilton. Right out of the gate. Wheels are stopped. Ashley is articulating everything she sees that's relevant to her driving. All way, nothing coming. Green light, stop sign up ahead. Look at you, you're doing the, uh, the... The commentary helps. The commentary helps. So much, it helped, it's helped me a lot. Great. Amazing. There's someone who's invested. Florence, turn right on the King Street. Green light, Lockburn Street. Listen to you. You are so Sunset. not Melanie. Sesh. Turn that enter sign. Dunder. Beautiful. You studied up on your signs. I did. Yeah, Melanie didn't do that. Ashley has cried every single time she's driven on a highway. Will she cry today? Don't. Wow. That's pretty wobbly on the, on the lane change. You're drifting when you're shoulder checking, okay? okay? So now we're laughing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who's driving a Porsche? I'm driving a 103 Porsche. kilometers an hour. You know what? This is the first time I've never cried. Exactly. Safe to go over. Very good, very good. <laughs> Ashley is very good at looking where she wants to go. You looking at that dump truck's bumper? No, I'm looking ahead of the dump truck. Hell yeah. Ashley is very good at identifying signs. Flooding sign, I learned that. And Ashley is very good at communicating with other drivers. Beauty. It's a day of firsts for Ashley. This is her first time pumping gas. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That was a bit clunky. And this is her very first time going through a drive through Followed by her first ever selfie with a Canada's Worst Driver fan. <laughs> you want to hop in? Come through the drive through with us. Heck yeah, I do. Jump over here. Oh, sweet. It's a rental. So show her how you, show her how you know how to park in reverse in that spot. You know how to reverse? I don't know how to reverse yet. Yep. And you got your license. I did, yeah. They never taught us in driving school. I think we... They never taught you in driving school how to reverse? You're kidding. No. My guy, he spoke... I think he, he needs spoke to take really more. bad English, and all we talked about was pierogies, and he never taught me how to reverse into, like, a parking spot. Ashley knows how to reverse into a parking spot. Safe travels, guys. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Ashley's flawless driving today is thanks in large part to her continuous driver commentary. Red light, green light. Look at how far ahead you're looking. The driver commentary saved me. What are you going to do about this ambulance? I'm going to pull over right Excellent. here. Excellent. And that's something I would never have done. Look at it fly by. OK, we're looking for McNabb Street South. Ashley sees the McNabb Street sign. But turning onto McNabb requires driving over a crosswalk, and Ashley doesn't check for pedestrians. It's gonna be this one. Watch the pedestrian. Okay. Watch the pedestrian. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, that was close. Did you see him at all? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. 
That's, that's serious. You want to watch for that. Almost needed the ambulance right there. When you're crossing a crosswalk, man, you got to look. Nice. Leaving McNabb Street, it almost happens again. Once she's back at the start point, no pedestrians. Ashley is thrilled with her performance. Yeah! Ashley had a great drive. Except for one very bad incident. What was your bad incident? I almost hit a pedestrian. When we come back... Are you Canada's worst driver? I name the country's lousiest motorist. Canada's worst driver is... It's time to decide who is Canada's worst driver. This episode's opening challenge resulted in a three-way tie. Then, Ashley was the worst on the mega challenge. And on the public drive? I almost hit a pedestrian. If I had not been there, would you have hit that pedestrian? More than likely, yes. I'm gonna say more than likely, yes, I would have hit that person. Are you Canada's worst driver? No, I'm not. I think I'm going to be a graduate. Adam also thinks he'll be a graduate. I've learned so much. I've changed so much. I feel it's fitting. More driving lessons would be fitting for Melanie, according to Tim. We should think about getting some training when you're back home. Can you afford to take uh, driving lessons? They're expensive. Probably not. Four kids and a single mom. Yeah. Not working, no. Are you Canada's worst driver? Uh, I feel like it could be Canada's worst driver. Melanie could be Canada's worst driver. And so could Ashley. But Adam is not. Shamala, who is Canada's worst driver? Melanie. Did we fail her because she didn't learn enough to be able to drive in public alone. And I promised her, I used the word promise, I promised her that we would get her there. And she can't do that. No, she can't. Did we fail her? It takes two people, it takes two sides for this to work. I still don't think she's the worst. That's the, the Oh, part do you? Of, Who no. do you think is the worst? I still believe Ashley is worse. Oh, do you really? She almost hit somebody. And for me, like, that's like a big no-no. If you a, look big at, no -no. Yeah, a big no-no. Yeah, no kidding. A pedestrian. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm trying to say. For me, was, I don't know, was a big, big red flag. I'm feeling the same way. Melanie was a sloppy driver. She had a bad attitude, but she didn't nearly hit somebody. So I'd be voting Ashley as worst driver. You're voting Ash too? Yep. I agree. You I know, thought you almost... were, you're changing, you're changing? I thought you were saying uh, Melanie's Canada's worst driver. You've changed my mind um, because the piece around hitting the pedestrian. But she didn't. But she almost did. But she didn't. Flippity floppity. Time to end this once and for all. Canada's worst driver is? Melanie. Yeah? I agree. Philippe? Ashley. Ashley. That's two votes for Melanie. Two votes for Ashley. And you've already flip-flopped back and forth. I I'm going to let it come down to you. Let's start with the good news. One of you is the final graduate from the rehab center this year. That person is... Oh my God. Oh, yes. You, Adam. I did it. Oh, yes. You did it. Oh, no. Aww. Well done, buddy. You, 
dick. That's me. Are you That's crying life. again? No, no. No, good man. No. You totally deserve it. Thank you. You really do. Before rehab. I don't like this. Adam was a terrified driver. I'm too afraid to drive five minutes away from my house. And it was affecting his whole life. I don't go out and socialize because of my fear of driving. Adam's fear stemmed from a fairly minor incident on ice. I jumped the curb and the snowbank stopped me from hitting oh, the mailbox here. And... In rehab, Adam learned from Tim. And at 12 o'clock, it's allowing you to pull your body around. He learned from Philly. Let go to gas a little bit one way, hard the other way. And he learned to enjoy stressful driving. He even learned how to overcome an incident on ice. I did it! <laughs> I did it! I did it! Adam learned that he's capable of driving anywhere. It's amazing. He's a great kid. Sorry, man, I should say. He's a man. I'm not amazing. a kid anymore. I'm you a work? man. Yes, you're a man. I'm a man. Well done. You hit that Ferris wheel on your way home right. now, hey? Go to the And then, ladies, there were two. Let's not beat around the bush here. I'll just get right to it. Canada's worst driver is... I am. Ashley is just this little, teeny, tiny little bit better than you. So I'm sorry, but um, Ashley, I will give you your driver's license back. Thank you. You're welcome. You're not a graduate of the rehab center, though. I figured as much. Yeah, but you are able to drive home, OK? OK. Before coming to rehab, Ashley cried practically every time she got behind the wheel. And even though she kept crying all the way through rehab, <laughs> the tears didn't prevent Ashley from learning. I did something. Oh. I really did something. Ashley can now go home capable of highway driving. This is the first time I've never cried. Oh my God, this process has been unreal. It changes your life. Yeah, it doesn't just change your driving. This changes your life. Yes! You'll be a whole lot more careful at crosswalks, though, OK? Melanie! Melanie! What are you doing here at this stage? You can't be the last one. Look. I'm going to give you your license back. Obviously, that's yours. I'm not allowed to keep that. No. Nope. And uh, I also have to do the ugly part now. Oh, yeah. I got to. I got to give you this. I have to tell you that in no uncertain terms at all, you I hate you. are Canada's worst driver. There is good news, though, OK? And the good news is that when you go home to New Brunswick, we've arranged for you to have a series of lessons. OK, that makes me good. That okay. makes me happy. Yeah. And we'll keep in touch with you, and we'll make sure that you're good and safe. Yes. And driving. Yes. Before coming to rehab, Melanie always got someone else to drive her children. She won't go to family events or, like, play dates because she has to travel with them alone. And judging by how much she learned in rehab, I'm certain that when she gets home, she'll still rely on others to transport her family. Yeah, I definitely don't know what the f I'm doing. I f suck at driving. Hopefully, the lessons we bought Melanie to use in her hometown will get her over the final hurdle. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I feel awesome that they're going to do lessons when I get home. 
Keep on practicing and studying, Melanie. She was giving me the finger as she was driving out. For real. It's not my fault she's Canada's worst driver. In the five months that have passed since we filmed this year, Melanie has not used one of her prepaid driving lessons. Drive safe, Canada. Suck at driving.